Yeah, a couple of problems for uh, not only United, but as you said, Chicago-based Boeing, because we're talking about Boeing products using a specific type of engine. The failure of an engine aboard United Flight 328 above the skies of suburban Denver Saturday afternoon rained debris down to the ground and raised concerns over safety. On Friday, that same aircraft, a Boeing 777-200, took off from Chicago's O'Hare Airport en route to Denver without incident. In response to the Denver situation, United announced it was grounding 24 777s in its fleet. The fact that 23 minutes after it departed, um, the aircraft landed safely back at Denver, I, I think is really uh, a testament to the engineering of these aircraft. Aviation expert Ian Pechnik believes the investigation is rightly zeroing in on the engine manufactured by Pratt and Whitney. They'll be looking at those particular issues to see if there's anything like cracking or any type of separation occurring, and they'll resolve those issues very quickly. Uh, moving forward, what they'll look at is, is there an, a design issue or a structural issue with this particular engine design? And if there is, how does that get remedied so it doesn't happen again? Boeing saying in a statement, while the NTSB investigation is ongoing, we recommended suspending operations of the 69 in service and 59 in storage 777s powered by Pratt and Whitney 4112 engines until the FAA identifies the appropriate inspection protocol. Experts say engine failure on this level is rare, but engineered to keep the flight in the air if it does happen. The engine is designed to absorb that energy. Um, the, the shroud that was visible after the cowling fell off, that, that kind of orange shroud, um, that's designed to contain the engine parts uh, and, and make sure that um, those high, highly, very fast moving parts that are they're moving, um, you know, many, many thousands of revolutions per minute, those are contained within the engine as best as possible so they don't puncture the aircraft. Pratt Whitney saying in a statement over the weekend that it is coordinating with the NTSB and FAA in this investigation into the PW 4000 engines, all of them being used on triple sevens. That is the latest here downtown. Sean Lewis, WGN News. Thank you, Sean.